Hey, how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another brand new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get better FPS and improve your performance in Lords of the Fallen. I hope this guide helps you out, so make sure to watch it till the end. And also don't forget to leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually. And with all that said, let's get started. All right, step number one is checking for Windows updates. It is really, really crucial on keeping your Windows up to date since Windows has a lot of bugs and with every new update, they try to fix it. So for that, you need to open up settings on your Windows and then look for Windows updates. And right over here, you will see any updates if they are available. You need to simply click on install all and make sure you keep your Windows up to date. That will give you much better performance and fix your FPS if it is being caused by any bugs. Step number two is the essential Windows settings. And for that, you need to go into your settings and then once again, go over to game mode and disable Xbox game bar. Then you need to go over to game mode and make sure that this is turned on. This will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background. Also disabling the notifications and pop-ups that are constantly being popped up whenever you're playing the game, disturbing you and creating unnecessary nuisance. Right beneath that, go over to graphics section and then click on change default graphics settings and enable both hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for Windows games. Both of them will help you to utilize your GPU more than your CPU as well as reduce your input latency wherever it is possible. Right after that, go back to graphics and over here you'll find a list of all of the games and applications that you have installed on your PC. I'd recommend you guys to click on the browse button and then go to the installation location of your Lord of the Fallen game. Now, once you have located your game folder, you need to simply add the LOTF2. Simply add it right over here, go to options and then select high performance over here. Then go back to browse once again, go to LOTF2, go to binaries of N64, then you need to add LRTF Win64 shipping as well. And right over here, you go to options and then select high performance right around here. Once you're done with that, close your Windows settings. Next step is the best NVIDIA control panel settings. And for that, you need to right click on your desktop, go to click on show more options, choose NVIDIA control panel right from here. Once it opens up, what you're going to do is click on adjust image settings with preview and then select use advanced 3D image settings. Then click on take me there and then follow the same settings right over here. Once you're done applying all of these settings, go to configure surround and physics and for the processor, choose your GPU. Then go to adjust video color settings, click on with NVIDIA settings and then click on advanced and choose the dynamic range to full. Also click on adjust desktop color settings and then set your digital vibrance from 50 to 70 percentage. Then click on adjust desktop size and position. Then perform scaling on GPU. Resolution is your native resolution and choose the highest refresh rate possible for your monitor. Once you're done with that, you're really good to go. Next step is creating a register point and this is really essential. Simply search for create a register point on your PC, look for local disk C, click on configure and then make sure that your turn on system protection is enabled. Simply click on create and name it LOTF2 right over here and simply click on create. I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step because it is really essential in saving your windows. If anything goes wrong, you can always restore everything back without any data loss. Next step is downloading the Lord of the Fallen FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You can simply download and open it up. And if there are any downloading issues, you can always join my Discord server for a downloading tutorial right over there. Once you're here, the very first thing is the PC optimization folder. You need to open it up and you'll find in CPU priority. Now you need to run the AMD or Intel CPU priority according to your PC. I use an AMD CPU, so I need to run the AMD CPU priority, but you can go with the Intel CPU priority if you have an Intel CPU. Right after that, there's a second folder which has the Windows optimization and right over here you need to run all of the Windows optimizations over here. First one is disable core parking. Both of them will disable your game DVR. This one will disable unnecessary startup services and this one will disable Xbox game bar. If there are any issues and you don't like these settings, you can always revert all of these settings right from here. Third folder is the Lord of the Fallen Priority and for this, I'd recommend you guys to leave your specs down in the comments below and I will tell you guys which one that you need to choose from right over here. Now, for my PC, I'll need to run the medium priority, but it could be different for you. So leave your specs down in the comments below and I'll tell you which one to choose. Last one is the launch options and for that you need to open it up and copy this little string right over here. Then open up your Steam 
right click on your game go to properties and then paste it in the launch options then simply close it close this close this close this and now once you're done with the fps back you can drop into lord of the fallen for the best in game settings okay so once you're in your game what you should do is press your escape key and then go over to settings over here then in your display make sure that your display mode or your window mode is set to full screen and the resolution you can always lower it down to get better performance i personally recommend you guys to go with 1632 by 918 or 1920 by 1080 to get better performance for resolution scale i have set it to 50 percent but you guys can set it according to your pc then down below for vsync keep it turned off and fps limit make sure to keep it unlimited for screen calibration, I'd recommend you guys not to do it right now. For HDR, set it to no. For NVIDIA DLSS, you can turn this thing off. And then for NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, go with On Plus Boost. AMD FSR, you need to enable it. And quality, you need to set it to high performance. For sharpness, you can go with 0 0.60. And right after that, press Enter to set the values. Then you need to go over to the graphic section. And then for graphic preset, go with low view distance keep it high shadows low anti-aliasing low texture quality low visual effects quality low post processing quality low reflection quality low global illumination quality low foliage quality off motion blur off filmy grain off and chromatic aberration off and once you're done with all of that press enter once again and you are now using the best settings possible to get extra fps so guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do a like and smash the subscribe button. There are a lot of more games coming onto the channel, so make sure to be subscribed. And we'll see you in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.